Hello and welcome to this video. This video is all about how to initially install Ubuntu Server and then add our graphical user interface so it's similar to like Windows Server in the desktop environment. And then we're also going to be installing all this on a RAID array of disks. And as a little bit of a bonus at the end, we'll show you how to add on an extra free disk to your RAID array and then grow your storage space. Now, if you don't want to use RAID, that's fine, because to be honest with you, there's only a little bit in the middle that's about RAID, and we also explain how to just go straight in on a normal hard drive if you wanted to. Okay, so let's go all the way back to the very beginning. What you need to do is go to ubuntu.com and then forward slash download and then server. The LTS version is the long term support version, which gives you at least five years worth of kind of like a stable environment. This is the latest and greatest, but you only get about nine months, as it says over here, nine months of security maintenance updates until July 2019. So. We're going to choose the long-term service one because we want to have a desktop environment that stays a little bit longer rather than how Windows 10 seems to like to do it. Keep upgrading every six months biannually. We've downloaded this and then you could follow the link in the description or there should be a little pop-up over here that shows you a video of how to create a USB memory stick to use to install it. So let's get on with booting up and getting our server ready. Okay, so when you insert your USB or CD, DVD and boot up, you will get this long list of basically information. Then it asks you to add your language. We'll choose UK as that's our keyboard. Done. Install Ubuntu. It'll choose using DHCP, an IP address. You can take that or you can modify it. Any proxy if you have, which is the automatic archive for Ubuntu, that's fine. And now, if you were going to install it, kind of like the easy, quick way, you can use an entire disk. And at this point, you just click on it and it's like a one-click install. Or if you want to set up a RAID environment, you click on Manual. Now, Ubuntu will allow you to install on a RAID array. A software RAID array in this case. However, it does require a partition, an area on a non RAID device to install the boot files. Okay, and grub. So I'm going to choose a small disk at the top and I'm just going to add a partition and it's going to be boot. I'll give it 10 gig. Okay, you don't really need that much. However, by having this extra space, you also have the ability to create a RAID backup location when you're altering your RAID devices. Okay, so I've taken up 10. There's 29. Okay, create. And then what I'm also going to do, I'm going to click here. And in the free space, now I'm going to add our raid. It's going to be MD0, that's the device name. It needs a minimum of three. You want to keep them active. If you had 
lots and lots of this. You could keep spare. So for example, whenever one fails, you can then activate another one. I'm going to make three. So later on, I can show you how to add this one that's not attached. OK, create. Now, all I'm going to do is add a partition. I could use the whole thing. All right. It's the root partition. Generally, they say about 30 gig. I'm going to give it 40. So that's create on the root. And once again, in our raid partition, create another partition, add. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of space free at the end for it to do any automatic configurations if it wants to. So for example, I'll give it 50. 50 gigs and that goes in the home. Generally, you can look on the Ubuntu website and they say for a 2TB, for example, this is how much you'd allocate for the boot partition, this is how much you'll allocate for home, for the var partition if you want, etc. Okay. And now I've left a little bit of free space over there. I'm going to click on done. Continue. I'm just going to let this do what it needs to do. Because sometimes you do get an error and it's pointless typing in if you're going to get an error. So I'm just going to wait till it starts showing an install. OK, so it's gone ahead. Now this is where you would enter your own personal information. I'll just keep this simple. Server's name, for example, you server 001, Ubuntu server 1. It's entirely up to you. Pick a username. This is just easy for this demo purpose. Once again, password, try and make it as hard as possible. And for the demo, we might make it a little bit easier. So it stops us having to type it in so much. OK, click Done. And then these are little add-ons that you can add now, or you can add them later. We're just going to do it later and click Done. And then we're just going to wait for this to install. OK, and then after a reboot, make sure you've taken out the CD or the USB stick when you do the reboot. And then you just log in with the details you gave before. And there you go. You have Win well not actually Windows. Ubuntu server and it's the latest version, 1804.1. It's the long term version. Now to install a GUI, you have multiple options, okay? Um you could install, shall we say, the full GUI. You could install partial lightweight GUI to desktop. We're going to install the full Ubuntu desktop. So, sudo apt dash get install. Ubuntu dash desktop. And then, do you want to continue? Just type yes. And what it'll do, it'll download and then you'll get back to what we had. Okay, we're going to stop this at this point and go back to the other version. Okay. And then we made some desktop changes in settings to have a background, etc. Right. And we've opened up terminal. Easy ways to do that is just type in search and then terminal and then click on that. And then you get your terminal. We do now want to show you how to add an extra drive. So let's have a quick look. So the first thing you want to do is to actually find out, have a look at our current existing 
RAID array. So you type in sudo mdadm and then space dash d forward slash dev forward slash md0. That is our RAID device. Okay, and as you can see, it says clean, which is nice. It's got three devices in there, and it's got the device name, the drive name that has been added. If you want to find out which one is not added, you can go to activities, type in disks, and that'll show you. As you can see over here, we have that is a RAID member, RAID member, RAID member, that is not, so it's SDE. Just click back to that, so I need to add SDE. So all I've done is typed in sudo mdadam and then added to our RAID array and then typed in dash dash add and then SDE dev forward slash SDE. Now that has been added. You might have noticed that it said backup file cannot be on the array which makes a lot of sense because if you are altering the array and the backup is on that altered array and it goes wrong you're not gonna get that backup file so in the beginning remember we had our boot drive a little bit bigger than normal so we're actually gonna save it to the boot drive it will take some time as you can see it depends on how much is complete when this is complete then you can start using your devices properly I suggest you wait just keep running this command again which displays your raid all right and the last step once it is completed completely is just to type in sudo resize to fs forward slash dev forward slash md zero which is our raid array as I mentioned all these commands should be in the description so you can just copy and paste them in and let's just go back to our disks and as you can see our raid array is now a hundred and ninety three gigabytes and it has 180 gigs free okay so brilliant that's what we have done on this video. We've installed Ubuntu server, we've upgraded it by adding a desktop. We should show in the description a few alternative commands to install different desktop versions. And we've also shown how to add another empty disk to our RAID array and make sure it's complete. So. Hopefully this video has helped. Thank you for watching.